Hi, my name is Isaiah Kadir and I'm with Resist Ministries. And today, the title of the message that I preached about today is called Resist with Agape. The word agape comes from Greek and Roman. And the word agape means love of esteem, regard, perfect love, or choice. So, with that being said, resist with agape, that means resist the devil. In James, it says in James, um, it says resist the devil. Heaven says resist the devil, he shall flee. But in the beginning of that scripture says resist, submit your life to, res, submit to God, then resist the devil and he shall flee. So what does that mean was submit your life to God. Submit means another word of, it, it, it's, 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 it's a lifestyle of choice. So when you submit your life to God, it's supposed to say, God, take over. This is, this is your life now. I don't want to live for myself, but I want to live for you and the glory of you. So when you sit here and when you did that, God imparted into you nothing but not, now authority, but now he gave you, now he gave you, that because I got so when you resist with agape you're resisting with love you're resisting with nothing but a choice for God see when people people can sit here and say well I love this I love that but that love is an emotional love it's not a love of choice it's not a love that's going to justify really too much of nothing so you can sit here and love cigarettes you can love sex you can love porno you can sit here and love people you can love your mother you can love your father but God says I have a choice and I choose to love you I choose to die for you I chose to call you a set apart when I chose to sit here and crown you king I chose to sit here and come into my kingdom the heavenly kingdom I chose you I chose you I chose you I chose you out of love so choice is is love is love and once you make the right choice for God God will sit here and hide you in him so from now on you don't see me no more you don't see this cover that I have you now you see God's face now you see God's now you see me moving in God and there's nothing and, and you know when it's something from God because it's so purified it's so holy and, and, and today what I want to sit here and get you today is is showing the resist with agape see when you resist with agape you no longer resist with your own will you resist with God's will now now you're pushing back God with now you're pushing back the devil with God's with God's power with God's authority see today today and age people want to sit here and go to church and dress one way and look one way in church because they're playing church they haven't really made the choice yet to resist their life fully to God see I will go to church looking just like this or what you're looking just like this to show you and prove to you that I'm not going to dress up nothing that, that's not purified. I'm not going to dress up nothing that's, that's unclean. See, my flesh is unclean. I'm not going to dress this up. I will get dressed up every once in a while on some occasion stuff. But I'm not going to get dressed up every Sunday to go to church to look like, oh, well, God loves. God's still in love regardless. You see what I'm saying? But people got to understand that the word resist, the word agape, it comes together. And it makes something ultimate. It makes you reborn again. It makes you something that the devil hates something the devil can't touch no more. So if I can walk up to you today and say, Isaiah, shut up, you're heck of ugly, and you're black, and your hair's not combed. But guess what I say? I love you, I'm going to pray for you on my quiet time. People look at you and say, Isaiah, you look like you're a heathen. Isaiah, look, 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 you're dressed a certain way. Why are you dressed like that? Because, 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 because I, I don't care how I dress, because I, I, have, I have a heavenly father that takes care of me. You see what I'm saying? See, I don't comb my hair today. I, I did this, I did this exact thing that you see today because I'm making a statement that I don't care what I look like I'm still a king I don't care how I dressed I'm still a king I don't care if my vocabulary is not to where yours is a scholar but I'm a king because God crowned me you see you see right now sweatpants and a sweater but God sees purple garments gold around me he sees a crown on my head of righteousness because I resisted with agape. You see, today at age, this resist thing that I'm doing with my club, you know, and Megan Kurtz, we're, 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 we're coming to a new level. They go to a different church, I go to a different church, but today, I'm trying to show you guys that revelation for today is, this is the revelation for today. I'm just gonna get straight to the point. This is the revelation for today. God will die for you because he loves you that much. And once you pick up your cross, God's asking for the same thing in return. Now, for you people that's Christians, for, for us Christians, for us people, men and women of God, unity in the body of Christ. Unity in the body of Christ. You believe in what he or she believes in. So therefore, you become one in the body. So, where your faith and your trust 
and your love lies in, which is God, you would die for God. So you would die for one another. So for therefore being said, I would die for the Bible. So if you believe in the Bible, then that means you would die for me because we are now one and we're looking up to one. So when we're all together and consumed in my body and soul, we become one, we become united, we become together, we become fused together like marriage. See, what happens is people get together and say, hey, I don't like your belief in this resurrection of God. I never heard of it, so I don't want to go to your church. But God's saying, who cares what they says? I say this. Five people that you, five people that's Christ look like you, five people with the same mentality, five people with the same motives, five people with the same ambition that you have. So today I'm simply telling you I have the same ambition that you have, I have the same motivation that you have, not the same gospel that you have. And today I'm standing on the gospel, which is the Peter. Today I'm going to sit here and build my foundation on this Peter. I'm going to sit here and step on this Bible and say, God, this is your life. Take my life because I want you to guide my footsteps firmly. And I want to look up to the skies and see your face. And so you can sit here and hit the mountains and let the billows smoke off these mountains. I want to sit here and God, I want to see your works done on a greater behalf. God, today in age, God, I'm ready to get persecuted for this gospel. Today's age, God, I'm ready to sit here and die for the gospel. Today's age, God, I'm picking up the gospel and this is what I'm representing today. He's a man of God. And I'm looking at you guys, and all I want to sit here and tell you guys is, God loves you. God loves you, but not just as he loves you, he natures you, he cares for you. He's the soil that you plant your body in. He's the rich soil that you plant your body. Your body is the seed you planted in the soil. The soil is the word of God. And then as you grow into that strong tree and bear that fruit, now you're acting upon God, you're adapting the revelation to you, adapting the Bible to your life. See, when you're in a process of growing before your fruit bears, now you're taking the Bible and you're adapting to your life. Now you're growing and you're growing and you're becoming strong. And then when your branches rise out like this and you have fruit on your branches and people eat up your branches, they say, wow, this is juicy, this tastes very good. Because you resist it with the God. Resist today. Resist the devil, but you can't do it through your flesh. <laughs> you can't sit there and say, God, I resist today, but I want to go back out here and I want to smoke weed. I resist today, God, but man, I got a girlfriend. She got a big booty and I really want to worship it. God, I resist today, but I don't want to live for you. Well, guess what? Change your motive. Read the Bible, because it shows you exactly who you are and what you came here to do. See, I'm tired of people sitting here talking about, it's going to be okay, Isaiah. It's going to be okay, Isaiah. No, it's not going to be okay. Because until when it be okay for me, that's the day that I'm sitting here telling you that God has it all under control. And I'm telling you that today because I firmly believe in it because it's my choice. See, if you don't make a choice to believe, then you will never make a choice to live. So if you don't make a choice to live, you live every single day dead. So wake up and smell the Holy Spirit. I'm drunk and stagnant right now as we speak. I'm high right now as we speak on the spiritual. I'm high off praise and worship. I'm drunk and stagnant off a revelation. <laughs> oh, y'all don't like that. It's okay because I love you. And I'm telling you, my mentality is not where some people's mentality is at. And all I'm doing is asking you, the people that's looking at this, all I'm asking you is, can you please help me? This is the Resist Ministries, and I'm supporting live from the spiritual realm. God bless you. Have a nice day.